My name is Sally Sitole and you are watching The Canvas Live. The UJ Council presented the annual Ellen Kuzwayo and Alumni Dignitas Awards. These awards are also referred to as the Council Awards. This ceremony honors individuals for their exceptional contribution to the higher education sector and recognizes UJ alumni for their impactful contributions to the institution's advancement and development. My evening has been really amazing. Um, you know, when you are awarded by your own people, it makes you realize that you are not alone in the world. You have your people behind you. Um, it reminds me of when I was away from my own home here in South Africa that my people were with me and to come here and see that it's still continuing it makes me know that I come from an incredible people people who are full of love full of um, of, 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 of ideas of building this country, this wonderful country of ours. I thank them. I thank everybody who was here. I thank the award itself. I thank the Ellen Kuzuay Award. Thank you so much for the love that you show to me every time, every time, South African people. Thank you. The whole evening was just amazing. I mean, we're honoring um, amazing women. And this evening, it was only women. I mean, we had Mom Elector Mbulu Simenya, I mean, an icon. Uh, we honored uh, Mayor uh, Yvonne Chaka Chaka, an icon. And we honored uh, two of our alumni with um, Alumni Dignitas Awards. I mean, uh, Mayor Tabsile Pumu and Melebo uh, Hang Litswalo, amazing women. So this has been special. You know what makes it even more special is that as UJ, you know, we, we, in everything we do, we say we want it to have societal impact. And in honoring these ladies, we honor people that in their own ways, you know, impact the society positively. So we don't only just do this societal impact alone, but we also pick people out there who are living this on a daily basis impacting our communities positively. For me it was just a wonderful evening. Look, stay in touch with the university, keep yourselves updated about the great work the university is doing and please go out there and leave the UJ values. You know, be ethical, you know, carry yourself with honor and dignity and, and, and make a difference, you know. And many of us come from humble backgrounds we should not forget where we are coming from because that is what is going to ground us to do what is right, you know, to, to remember our humble beginnings. In my speech, I talked about people coming to varsity with dreams. We should never forget the transformative power of education. I wouldn't be here today speaking to you if it was not for education. So we should not take education for granted. Let's help each other. Let's self, uh, support each other, apologies, and make a difference out there. The last thing I would say, I want to repeat the saying, and I'm paraphrasing that I've heard, is an African saying, that if you put thorns on the path of others, your own children will be um, hurt by those thorns. So instead of burning bridges, let's build bridges. You know, Instead of building walls, let's build bridges. Let's work together. That way we'll take our university, our country, continent, global south, and the world forward. I just want to first say thank you to the Registrar of UJA, thank you to the council members and everybody who saw it fit 
that I should be uh, honoured with this award. UJ is just one of those best universities, you know. Um, as a student myself at another um, uh, university uh, doing AI, I know how how great they are doing at UJ and I just want to appreciate everything that uh, they are doing for our students, for transformation as well and just for giving me this honour. They could have given it to other people, there's m to somebody else. There's lots of other people who deserve this but um, they saw it fit to give it to me. So I'm very humbled and very, very much honoured. I'm Tavisi Lepumo. Um, I'm a former UJ student, but at my, during my time it was called Rand Africanse University. And I'm the Executive Vice President of Stakeholder Relations at Sibanye Stillwater. I'm extremely honored uh, as a former student, obviously, to get recognition by the university. I think the most important part of this award for me, I have been involved with the university in various capacities. So to be able to have this higher level of association with the university is an honor and a privilege for me. I think the university gives you the basics. It is up to you to drive your own career. But most importantly, whatever field you choose, get immersed, get involved, and most importantly, enjoy it. My name is Lebo Letualo. I am um, a supply chain coach and CEO of SyncPoint and the founder of the African Women in Supply Chain Association. So uh, I am receiving a Dignitaries Award um, this evening. and. Um, for me, it's all about recognition, it's really around the advocacy work that I do in the industry within supply chain, within procurement, logistics and transport. Um, I'm really honoured indeed to be um, receiving this award. What's very important is to have a passion for what you do. Um, I think the one driver of growth and development and really success, it starts with passion. But really when you build up on the passion as well is to really say how do you get yourself to understand what's happening in the industry and really acclimatizing yourself with um, what the industry standards are, finding a mentor, finding a coach, and also being involved in industry events. And I think part of it is really around networking. But the most other important thing for me, which I feel is very crucial, is around how you partner, how you collaborate as a young person, um, and how you make sure that you become inquisitive in your environment. Um, right now, especially if you look at the skills of the future, they totally changing. It's not like with us a couple of years ago. So building the next works, uh, building the relationships um, is very crucial um, so that you are able to understand what the needs of the industry is. But the lastly is that um, understanding unemployment is very rife. One of the advices that I can give to the young ones is that develop entrepreneurial skills, specifically on that area that you are studying on because there's an option. So um, if you develop that option as well, it allows you not to linger around, but finding something to do whilst you're looking for a job. My name is Lucretia Kumalo. I'm a council member at UJ, and I'm really looking forward to the hours this evening. By ensuring that we talk about it, that we celebrate, that we tell everyone about this event and what is being celebrated today, uh, we will be able to uh, s spread the words and really get everyone to understand what success looks like and what adding value in society looks like and really paying it forward. So I really hope that even this being here with you guys, you're going to tell everyone the stories that we'll be listening to tonight. All of them have offered us different things at different times. I mean, if you look at all of the work that they have done, um, you know, you look at Yvonne, Mom Yvonne has done global work, helping people. You look at Mom Led and, and the struggle work, work that she did. I don't have a favorite. I think they are all just amazing. And I am looking forward to spending time with them tonight. The first annual School of Communication Awards took place earlier this year. And this award celebrates the service or the work that students have done throughout the academic journey. Let's join in on the celebration. Hi, 
Um, I'm Dr. Amy Fulian Strubel from the Department of Communication and Media. Um, and today we had our School of Communication Awards. This is the first time that we're doing that, so we're super excited. Um, and the whole point of the awards was just to give our students the opportunity to be recognized, not just for academic excellence, which they do when they graduate, but also for creative work. And you know, some of us aren't the best writers, some of us aren't the best studiers, but we can make a damn good film. So that was what today was about, it's just recognizing our creatives, showing what the school has to offer, um, and just making the students feel great. And I think we did that, so I'm super stoked. <laughs> uh, my name is Pinela Kumalo. I was doing BA Honours in Film and Television Studies, and I got three awards. I got an award for Screen Studies Best Short Fiction Film at Honours level. I got a Global Journalism Top Achiever Award, and I also got a Honours Best Research essay. Yeah, I won't lie, 2023 was a difficult year for me. So to get these awards is really amazing because I faced a lot of challenges, especially like in my personal life. So to actually get, I was actually surprised. I was not expecting a lot of this, but I'm very grateful. It shows that my hard work was not in vain and I'm very proud of myself. And yeah, it's all thanks to God. Hi, my name is Rose Sereli Serapuru. I am honest journalism student. I got um, best award in best TV news documentary in honors level. This is my ancestor's wildest dream. <laughs> I never thought I would reach this stage and I was amazed when they sent uh, an invitation to me. Like, it's, it's a huge milestone. I'm proud of myself, very proud. Hello, my name is Ramlu Kwani Malevili Dwaba. I am currently an honors student um, and last year I was studying a Bachelor of Arts in Strategic Communication and Communication in Media. Uh, today I was graced with two awards, one for Strategic Communication Sustainability Development and the other for um, Strategic Communication Campaign Development. Uh, both of these are courses that I did last year, modules that I did last year, one in first semester and the other in second semester. These awards actually mean a lot to me because for one, the Campaign Development Award, that award we uh, won it because we created a campaign for a non-profit organization called Kids Haven. Um, it meant a lot to us because we were actually finally able to help them gain awareness for their organization as well as what they do. Um, with the second award, it was for sustainability development and this one means the most to me because it helped us reach a place where we could actually make a difference in um, the environment, in society, in the economy, um, in a sustainable way that would allow for future generations to also benefit um, not only us here. Yeah. Well, in terms of the awards that I got, I plan on continuing the journey and continuing my development, um, my personal development and making sure that my skills are, um, uh, you know, advanced and I want to be able to travel the world and make a difference not only in South Africa but in other places as well and find different ways to benefit South Africa, ways that other countries are implementing that make their country better and try and bring some of that back home to make South Africa better because I mean we all know that South Africa has a lot of potential and it can be an amazing country if we put our minds to it. Hey, hello everyone, um, I'm Musiwa Mfuni known as Annabelle and I was a public relations student, third year in public relations and communications. I'm currently registered for the advanced diploma in communications management and the award we won was Box Breaker Award. I believe that we won this because our project was mind-blowing and out of the world and out of the box. So um, our project was Say Something, the Gallery of Talent, which was aimed at um, encouraging work integrated learning, promoting work integrated learning through a documentary, through a visual documentary that encompasses the feelings and emotions of students, what they go through, the will process and everything sh through showing their daily routine and their daily emotions. And yeah, and we also helped in Oh, we were part of the crew of the Strategic Communication Conference. Then that's where we showcased our project. That's where we, we were able to reach our target, target audience, academia, studia, students, and industry, leading to more engagement towards our project as a whole and towards our short film. We won the Box Breaker Award. And my future plans are I'm currently studying, I'm currently registered <laughs> for advanced diploma in communication management. So I look to, I'm currently looking for an internship or any graduate projects. 
um, programs. Yeah, I'm currently looking towards that, and I look to grow in the atmosphere. Oh, in the industry, I look to grow. I look to be. I look to be the face behind successful campaigns. The the face behind successful PR campaigns and marketing initiatives. So that's where I'm aiming at currently. My name is um, Spiro Maluleka. I was studying um, towards a diploma in public relations and communications at the University of Johannesburg. I completed the qualification last year. My name is Tabela Chamano. Also, I was studying public, diploma in public relations and communication. Um, and we want the, the ASA guide uh, awards that was provided by the DMASA. Uh, the awards was basically focusing on the best digital marketing strategy and communication strategy. We managed to win the award because we integrated it with AI and also uh, ensuring that like, we, we, we integrate our minds as well with the AI and the revolution of AI too. Winning this award is a prosperous victory for us because it means that um, we are on the right path. Um, um, it showed that we can um, develop a strategic integrated marketing communications plan. Um, this award was um, for Matkosa and Nike collaboration, so bringing the brands together and um, due to our lack of skills in graphic design, we were able to, as Tabelo um, mentioned, use AI to create those prototypes. Um, so it means that we are on the right path into um, our, our careers, into um, marketing and communication and the future is just creating more campaigns and just creating the best that we can and hopefully we can um, make the collaboration between Matkosa and Nike to come alive. And that is all from today's episode. My name is Selis Atole. Until I see you next time on an interesting episode, goodbye. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.